Yes. The rise in gun violence is not just contained to Portland. A teenager was shot today in Gresham and ran to his high school for help. Catherine Cook has more tonight on how the school helped him and how Multnomah County leaders are trying to tackle the problem. You know, I live three blocks from here. I don't want people being shot. A reasonable wish, but one that isn't coming true for Norm Benson and others who live near Southeast 182nd and Division. I feel unsafe. I, I don't really want to live over here anymore. You know, I want to move. The latest case of gun violence unfolded Monday morning in this shopping center parking lot. Gresham police say someone shot a teenager near the Dollar Tree. The teen ran across the parking lot to Rosemary Anderson East Campus, where he's a student. Staff cared for him and called 911. In a statement, school president and CEO Joe McFerrin II said, When I picked up the phone and got the news, my heart sank. Sadly, our organization is dealing with gun violence directly every day, and when it involves a student, it is especially heartbreaking. School officials here tell us the student was released from the hospital Monday afternoon. They say he was shot in the hand and is expected to make a full recovery. Welcome to the executive committee. Just hours after this shooting, the Multnomah County Local Public Safety Coordinating Council held its monthly executive committee meeting. As we know that the people that are involved in crimes know no boundaries. Multnomah County Sheriff Mike Reese was among those to speak about the county's gun violence prevention initiative that's still in the works. In too many of our neighborhoods, gun violence is eroding away our sense of safety and security. Reese says so far this year, there have been 81 homicides in Multnomah County, most from gun violence. By the end of September, the sheriff's office had seized 742 firearms. The county's gun violence prevention initiative has four parts created from a public health approach. Define the problem, identify risk and protective factors, develop and test prevention strategies, and finally, assure widespread adoption. We have to be able to um, understand um, the root causes. We have to be able to understand the who, the what, the where, and the when. It's too bad, you know. Neighbors like Norm hope that approach works, but just looking at Monday's shooting, it's hard for him to explain any of it. Society should be getting better, not worse. Crime should be going down. In Gresham, Catherine Cook, KGW News.